Okay, we got a call for this shock Isuzu 2019 FTR. So it's in the way mode. This he went to two different shops. They couldn't figure out the problems. So they don't have the software. So we are here now. See the Isuzu 2019 FTR. Okay. Let's see what's going on. I didn't even start it. Let's start the shop. Okay. There you go. I start the truck. That's right there. The exhaust system and the air fly is flashing. So this truck is on lip mode on, on the rate 5 miles per hour. They have to tow so another shop right here they couldn't figure out the problem so let me figure out the problem so of course we got a Nexix and, and we got our computer it's automatic air brakes Isuzu see right there so that light is not for region it's SCR malfunction or something some problems with the CR it's not a region that's not a region light that's not a region please pay attention it's all right here see all the details right here and the sound visor right here all the details so read that before you start telling it's a region because they call me oh I got a region it's not a region it's a CR see that's not a region, that's a CR. Could be a NOX sensor, could be a DF injector, could be a DF pump, could be a DF fluid contaminate. But that's not a region, okay? Region is different. See, let me see. Let me show you how, what is a region. That's a region, you see? That's a life of region. That's a life of region. See, that's the fluid okay so let's start because you need of course you need a laptop with the software let's go with the software let's go with the software now okay okay we got it the program right there let's see Isuzu You can also we got it, huh? Transmission Lion, okay? That's a transmission Lion So fuse right there So on this problem, don't start guessing Don't just drop the DPF And send it to clean it out And you expect it that it's gonna be okay after that. No, we have to scan the codes first and then decide what we have to do on this truck. So. Okay, let's see. Take a look right here guys, take a look, 
Take a look. That's the code. P2B89UNODTC. Even the computer doesn't explain to you what's going on right here. It's kind of weird. So let me go. Click right here. Let me see. And where it throw me? Okay, P22. Exhaust NOx concentration high reason or oh, no? No reason. DF sensor module, DF quality base, DF concentration module, concentration measure DF. Okay, so on these procedures, you know, in this procedure with the code, it's uh, we have to do is start with uh, with these little things. Okay, let's go. First thing, you gotta check the DF. You see? Oh, so it's um, they got a tool online. If you just type it online, say so that to check the quality on the DF, it's a machine that so you can you can buy and just test the fluid. So I know the way I can check without the tool. So. So a few things I'm not gonna show on the video, is, but uh, that's the that's the major thing. You gotta check the fluid, okay? Oh, you can just uh, draining if see if uh, if you if you, if you when you when you drop it on the ground, waiting to get it dry, you're gonna see it start getting like a like a rocks. So that means it's good fluid. That's another way, but. With the best thing to check this fluid is with the tool, okay? And the other thing is uh, you gotta check for the lines. You see the DF line that goes from the pump to the DF injector all around. You gotta see if the line is not broke. It's not dumping DF on the ground. So I see it's okay. Okay. Make sure on the DF pump is not leaking. Uh, it's a tube right here. Make sure this tube it's not clogged. And then we gotta go to the muffler. Let's see. Take to the muffler. Let's walk to the muffler. Okay. We gotta inspect the PM sensor. Let's do knock sensor right there and make sure that it's not broke or cracked something. Okay. Then you check for the okay it's clean no salt then you gotta check for the DF check for the DF okay DZ DF inject to check if it's not broke or loose or leaking so this one is okay it's fine so the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out I don't have the tool because I need the tool to see how much amount of DF is dropping the, the, the DF inject so I forgot to bring that tool, so it's it, it, I can do it manually without that tool, without that tool, but I need that tool 100%. So I gotta remove it. So the spray test is three steps. So I had to measure how much of DF of spraying uh, on the test, how much owns. So that's that's the second step. I gotta do it. At the end, if I don't find nothing wrong right here, I don't see nothing wrong, anything wrong, nothing, nothing, I have to drop the SCR. Maybe the SCR it's not good. Okay. I'm most likely in this shock the, the SCR goes back, okay. This one. Okay. It goes back. Okay, um that's the quick video I did. Hope they like it, comment. And to reset the codes, uh, it, I, with the program, I just reset the codes. I can be able to reset the codes, and the light should go away. Okay, but if I don't fix the problem, the light is gonna come back again. Okay, so um, other ways is, is you have to do a region and to see if the, the pressure on the CR2 that's the other way to do. But the more easy way is to just drop it, drop it, and inspect that. So just Ball the not just here, I'll take it out and then inspect it. It's easy, just inspect it, do the right way. Okay, so the customer next time and say, I really appreciate you fix it the right way. So the customer can come back to you. So I'm pretty sure I had to drop this here. But I don't see nothing wrong, okay?
rub this cigar, inspect it, send it to clean it out to cook, uh, and put it back, reset, let it go. Okay? See you next video. I'm back right here. See, I reset the codes. I reset all the codes. See, my light went away. We start up. See, bingo. All gone. But I gotta check those. I gotta inspect those. The things I I just mentioned on the video. Now the truck has power. See you.